Eight bus by three four three studios. Hey everybody, what's going on? Nathan 343 here. And as you all noticed, we have partnered, basically partnered, <laughs> with a company called Saker. And Saker has sent us some really awesome products. And I have another one for you in the fact of a multifunction chainsaw pole saw. Uh, so it's a handheld saw. And if you can't reach what you can't from the ground, you can put some poles on here and extend it into a pole saw. And the cool thing is, it all goes to different sizes. So let's take a look in this box and see what we got. All right, so Saker was kind enough to send this over. It's a multi-function chainsaw. It is a 20 volt. Uh, I think I have, what was it? The battery that came with the uh, hedge trimmer shears we got, I think is the exact same battery. So I'll have two. So how cool is that? If it doesn't come with just one, it may come with two, who knows? So just some information here on the um, thing before we unbox it. It is a 400 watt motor. It does 30,000 revolutions per minute. Uh, the chain is a highly uh, quenched alloyed steel. It also is brushless. That's right, you heard this right, a brushless motor. Uh, I think the other ones was, uh, they had brushes in it, but this is a brushless motor. Uh, it also has a 2000 uh, milliamp lithium ion battery in it. So very cool there. Uh, it's a 20 volt max. It's adjustable extension poles. It's in a black and green box, comes with the battery, comes with the box. This was shipped FedEx. Let's crack this thing open. I am actually super, this just came out. Uh, I haven't really seen hardly anybody doing videos on these. And I'm super excited because me being a lawn care provider, I'm always coming up to people's houses that have trees and all kinds of stuff in the way because, you know, tree limbs grow. So it's, uh, it's gonna be awesome to, you know, be able to take this with me. It would be cool if it had like a airy case to put everything in, but, so it looks like it's in some expandable deals. Got some other boxes here. So we'll take these out. We're gonna open up the little box first. I'm sure that's probably poles. So it has a little thumb thing here. I'm gonna open that up. So we have the bottom part of the, of the extension part, the saker part, the trigger, and the battery connection. And here we have, uh, this would be the top part, it has a plug, I have no idea what the plug's for, but it also has like a 90 degree pivot, so you can pivot this thing however you want. Got some other poles here, some others, and that looks to be about it on that box. So the little box has some poles in it here. I'm actually gonna try, so that would be the top one. I don't know if there's more poles in there. I think this all goes, so there's some connection points here. Positive and negative. I don't know how this, if this goes a certain way or not. Uh, yes, it does actually. There's a little arrow. So there's two arrows. There's an arrow here and an arrow here. I guess you line up those arrows, push it all in until it snaps. And then you just twist this and it locks it into place. How cool is that? So and then there's this one. Again, line up your arrows. Push it all the way till it kind of snaps. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm liking this, guys. Oh, I'm really gonna go ahead and open to... up the other box real quick, just so we can see if there's any other poles in here that would make this longer. I'm not for sure. What's in this box? So now we're into the bigger box. Okay, so we don't have any poles in here, but the cool part is it came with two batteries. So that's stinking awesome. Also come with another chain. Um, correction, it came with two chains. Um, so yeah, this would be the last piece here. And I'm guessing that 
there plugs into the saw somehow. So I'm gonna go ahead and line these two pieces up. So that's still a good, like I'm able to reach clear out there by the camera. I mean, that's, uh, yeah. Well, these ceilings are eight feet, so I mean, and I'm, so that's like six and a half foot reach on top of the six and a half foot that I am. So there's, a, by the, if you're six foot and this is a six foot reach, you're gonna have a 12 foot reach uh, by the time you extend your arms out, maybe even a 13 foot reach. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to figure that out. But this is cool, this is very sweet, I'm excited. So right here in the center, we have the chainsaw and it is a six inch chainsaw, six inch bar. So very cool there. Looks like we have, um, so that's cool. You can tighten the chain without actually having to, there's no tools. So that's cool. So you loosen, then you turn this little knob here and I'll show this closer. And that actually tightens the chain. And then you snug this piece up. How cool is this? Not even having to, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I still don't know what this plugs for. I'm assuming there's a book. Yeah, there's a book. I also sent some gloves. Let's see what the book shows here. If I can get it out from underneath the styrofoam. So this goes here. Oh, I see where the plug goes. The plug goes right here, right on the back. I must give it power. I get it. Notice two batteries, the chain, the plug, which I think all the plugs are the same. Also, you get the chain oil, the two sets of extra chains. So you get three chains all together with the chain that's on the unit. And of course, safety glasses. And all right, guys. So here is the, now I put it on a little, a little extension just so you can see. Uh, some little stuff you don't have to use all the extensions and I will say this piece right here that the saw connects to I don't know if you'll be able to tell that see that that's not stiff right there it's very wobbly that's the only thing so far I'm noticing with this see how that wiggles right there now I'm holding this piece tight and it wobbles so I mean you get the not super it's not super uh, strong there another thing I noticed is this little plug right here that you use to plug from this to this so that you can control it with the uh, end here I had to really really push on this really hard to get that to go in there that shouldn't have been that hard to go in there other than that even when you adjust it still got some Quite a bit of play in it, as you can see there. It's real wobbly. I mean, not very not very good build quality there. Um, it just seems like there's something loose there in the end or something. But I got a stick here. I'm gonna cut it up just so you can see how it works. So I'm actually gonna cut the it saw so that you have the little hand saw. As you can see it working there. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this cut this up here in this like manageable firewood. So these would be great for camping. Let's see how good it does. Did pretty good. Cut this one up. Now this is only maybe a, you know, inch and a half piece. We'll see if we can find a bigger piece here. But. Cutting pretty good, but now the chain's starting to come loose. So what do you do? Take this little knob right here, loosen it, and there's an automatic chain tightener right here. So all you do is, see there's a little bit of slack there. Just take this and turn it down just ever so slightly. And then tighten your knob back up. Good. Now let's go 
go see how it works on cutting low hanging branches down and stuff like that. Now we've got a tree limb right here hanging down. I'm actually going to see if we can trim this guy up and get it cut down. With just one section of extension. So one extension. put on a couple more pieces of extension make this a little longer and we'll see how it does reach we have some extensions here we're going to put those on that and show you how to do it. branch what you're going to do is you're going to loosen this up pull it apart and you're going to take this lining up your two arrows push it until it clicks or snaps take that snug it up just out of a couple more feet then Take this piece, put it on the ground, again lining up your, your marks. Tighten her up, and now you've got a very, very long pole saw. This pole saw is probably about seven foot tall. Again, the end of it here is very wobbly. I don't like that, it's not very sturdy. This would be perfect for just a regular hand saw. like that my friend I just took those low hanging limbs off um, and it looks so much better so now let's get this cut up all right guys so just a couple little pointers here the saw is a great saw uh, don't get me wrong I, I know you guys are seeing it kind of bow there and kind of bend and flop and you know with the full extension I don't think um, it's 
got its ability to go with the full extension. I think they need to re maybe figure it out, maybe make that shaft a little bit stronger uh, to where it won't bend. Uh, I did notice one of the poles was bent uh, just from, I guess, bowing back and forth. So, yeah, I definitely think it's a good saw for a shorter reach. Uh, if you want to use a longer reach, uh, probably want to do something with maybe, uh, you know, stiffening that up but guys it's a great saw sacred does a great job with their stuff this is the first time i've used one of their pole saws you can see me here cutting off some uh, pine limbs uh hang low once they get rain on them they hang real low and people hit their heads and stuff so I'm just kind of knocking those off here and yeah, it's a great saw it really is i think you guys should definitely check it out uh for camping for you know taking this out on you know vacations you know trail riding put this in a little toolbox on your four-wheeler or side by side you know you could fold take all the things apart take it with you if you got a limb out in the trails you need to cut it down perfect for that um would i see a commercial company using one of these probably not but residential yeah they're great they do great you know i, I think they're good with what they are but go check them out link in the description Thanks, Saker, for sending this one over. I'm sure we're going to be doing more stuff for them as they keep coming out with new products. But hopefully maybe they'll uh, reinvent this a little bit and come out with something new uh, so that it's not so bendy and bowy and everything. But it does great. The battery holds up well, and I think you should check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.